Hey everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another layout here for Hip Kits. Uh, this week we are working with a sketch on the Facebook page and there's a one sketch and four different kind of takes on it. So I'm playing along with that this week and this will be my take on it. If you want to see the sketch, you can head over to the Hip Kit uh, Facebook page and you can find it there. There's a new one every week too, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you check that out. So what I'm doing here is I've just got some papers from the kits and I'm just punching with a two inch circle punch. And I really want to use a lot of the different patterns and add a little bit of texture. Um, I've already used some different parts of the kit so I just thought I will use all these different patterns in maybe a different kind of way than I have lately. So I have random different pieces and I have my scoreboard and I'm actually going to score these at a quarter of an inch. So it's a two inch circle punch and I'm going to score on each side a quarter of an inch so I get this nice square. So you score at a quarter of an inch and in this case it's one and three quarters and then you turn it 90 degrees and then you repeat that. And when you fold it in you can see you get this circle shape into a square. So I'm just going to continue doing that to all these circles. I've tried to choose um, different patterns. The good part is this is double sided, but I've tried to choose different patterns. So I have like a good mixture of the different colors in the kit. Um, and I really love that um, pink paisley paper that has kind of this watercolory wash kind of look. It has um, some yellows and pinks and the teal in it, which is really pretty. So I kind of wanted to make sure I grab colors that fit it with all of that in that paper. And so I'm just scoring all of these and I'm done that now. And now it's just time to fold them all up. You can be really finicky about this and make sure they're all perfectly exactly square. But the truth of the matter is once you get them stuck down onto your page, some of the, you'll have, there will be some tiny little gaps. Um, but because the circle part kind of pops up a little bit, it's easy to hide that. You, you definitely don't see that very much, especially with embellishments and your photos and everything. Um, you don't notice it quite, quite as much. So I'm just going to fold all these together. And of course, with the help of speeding up the video, that has made this super quick. And I just have this white cardstock that I've trimmed down. And I'm just going to go ahead and line up my, sorry about my head there, first square all the way across. And just lining up the tops as best I can. In the end, um, my car is just a touch wider, and that's because I measured it eight inches across, but then didn't really take into account the fact that we're cutting it, uh, sorry, cutting the papers into two inch circles and then folding them adds a little, there's like a tiny little gap, I guess, because of that. So I'll trim that off later on. But for now, you can see it's really easy once you have them folded just to line them up. And I'm just alternating the different colors and patterns that I have folded. So yeah, pretty easy. And you know, kind of keep in mind where you're going to put your photo or photos. So I'm just going to add a few more here that I'm going to punch. Just some certain colors that I want that I don't have left over which makes me go back to the scoreboard. And this scoreboard, I, for some weird reason, I go in spurts with a, with a tool thing. And I've used it a few times lately. So um, I have a card that I made that I used it to actually score the background, which is kind of cool. So I'll probably do that on a layout at one point again. So I'm just going to trim this off with my scissors. I'm not super picky about it being exactly completely straight. And then I've decided I wanted to fold down some of those um, flaps from the circle. So I'm just going to grab my little mini sewing machine and I'm adding a row of stitching along horizontally and then I'm going to turn it and do the same thing vertically. And you'll see in the end it just kind of helps those flaps stick down a little bit more. There it is all kind of stitched. So you get, I think it's called, in quilting, I think it's called a ring circle quilt, I think. I'm probably wrong about that, but um, it's kind of cool, kind of a neat effect and really, really easy. So I'm just going to, I add this onto some uh, teal cardstock just so it kind of pops a little bit more in that background. And I have one of the cut files here that I've cut actually from that uh, pink paisley paper, but I decided not to use it. So I'm going to cut that again out of white. So just ignore the fact that that rainbowy one is there. I'll save that for another project. And I'm just going to trim this down and stick it down onto my page. And a few of my little sewing bits kind of fell up. So I'm going to restitch those down quickly. And then just add a row of stitching through that bottom part where the white cardstock is. And that's actually just mostly to keep the paper together because I used a very, very small amount of cardstock, or sorry, adhesive on the back of the cardstock. 
So yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and pop this up with just a little bit of foam adhesive. This isn't really puffy adhesive, it's kind of a lower profile, but I still like that kind of look with the pop dots. So I'm going to use that to pop my backing part on, and that's that. And I would say this whole layout from start to finish took me probably about... I don't know, roughly 48 minutes or so, 46 minutes. And that's mostly because I kind of had the plan that I wanted to do those circles folded into squares. I knew that I was going to do that. I think if I kind of sat down and wasn't too sure what I was going to do, this would have taken me a whole lot longer because really 45, 50 minutes is pretty fast for a layout, I think. Um, at least for me it is. I, I Sometimes it's like two hours to do a layout. So, yeah. So uh, the sketch, the one thing I liked about the sketch is there's kind of different layers of patterned paper and then you kind of have your photo in this sketch. There's two smaller photos and I didn't have two printed. I actually had this one here that I decided to use. And so I'm just going to use that here in the placement of where the photos are on the sketch. And the other thing I liked from the sketch is it does have a vertical title, which is not something that I use a lot of. So I'm just going to recut that flower grouping cut file again and while I finish working on the page. So I'll get that going. And while that's cutting, I'm going to pull out all this really fun ephemera pack. So there's some really great tags. I want to make sure to layer one of those. And of course, I'm just going to kind of cheat and just use this dream. Sorry for the shine. It's like that gold metallic is hard to photograph. And especially that there's a light right above where I'm filming. That probably doesn't help. Um, but I'm just going to grab a whole lot of this chipboard and this ephemera and get it all kind of just tucked in around my photo. And it really makes things go quickly because the paper in the kit coordinates well with this ephemera pack. So you don't really have a need to go ahead and grab much else. Now look at that pretty cut file. It look awesome. So I just cut that out of white cardstock and now I'm going to decide what to do with it. And in, in the sketch there's kind of like this bicycle in the bottom right corner. And I thought that that would be a good you know, replacement for the flower but I decided no I'm gonna go ahead and layer it kind of behind my photo and at first I thought it would do the top corner um, but then I realized there was just too much stuff going on in that top left corner so I just layered it kind of beside my photo there um, even though it did cover up some of my folding and everything you can still see it um, through that cut file there because it's kind of you know the whites kind of I don't want to say it's translucent because it's not, um, but it's just another added layer. So I'm going to add a bunch of adhesive and kind of just start sticking all this stuff down. And then I realized there's some really fun cards in this ephemera pack, so I thought I would layer some of those. Um, it just like seemed to be too much. And then actually, as I was working on this layout, I came up with an idea for my next week's layout. So I have another video that I shot right after this one. So uh, you're not going to believe three videos in one month. I know it's shocking, um, but stay tuned for that. So uh, I'm just going to add a few little more embellishments to the back of this. I'm going to cover up the hole in that tag. I don't like holes and tags. I, feel, I always feel like I need to tie something in there or put a button or something. So in this case, the layer two pieces of chipboard works. And then I kind of realized I, I like this floral cut file, but it was a little too white. Um, I sure probably should have cut it from a, a lighter patterned paper, um, but I decided just to take some mist, this is gold mist I had in my stash, and I'm just taking a paintbrush and adding some of it just to bits and pieces of that cut file, and you can see obviously I put a piece of just scrap cardstock in behind just to kind of catch any drips so that it doesn't really like sog up my whole paper background there. And yeah, so I'll let that dry just for a quick second, and then I'll remove that cardstock the magic of video and now it's just the fun stuff is getting all the little bits onto the page and I think for the most part I don't really add a whole lot because that background is pretty busy I'm gonna leave it kind of as it is I wanted to add some sparkle from these um, glitter thickers but I don't think I end up leaving them on in the end I think I take them back off again um, and that's pretty much pretty much the whole thing the way it all came together um, but like I said, just working on one layout helped me think of an idea of what to do on my next one. So that's always kind of good. Now, I don't do a lot of journaling, so I'm just going to make sure to put the date on here. And just kind of where she was that day. That was her dance rehearsal um, for her dance recital that night, actually, not rehearsal. And I think that's about it. So here you can see just a close-up of those layered circle squares, I'm going to call them, with the cut file. Looks kind of pretty and just 
really simple on the left hand side sorry with the title and the oh I did keep the gold glitter thickers on there and overall really fun it's kind of a fun sketch I probably would do this design a layout again so thank you very much for stopping by today and come back next week I have another layout for you to see bye bye